Okay, so now we're going to actually import our Drupal site archive into Pantheon so we can create a new site from our existing site. So in this lesson, first what we're going to do is we're going to actually take a look at the Pantheon user interface options. So when you go to the Pantheon dashboard and you go to import, you have a couple different ways that you can do that. So we're just going to talk about like what the various settings are and, and how that works and which one you probably would like to use. And then we're going to actually just go ahead and import the single file site archive that we have created in a previous lesson. And we're going to get our site created. So let's go have a look at that. So I'm back on my dashboard and my account on Pantheon. Uh, and you can see I can create a new site. So we're going to go to do that, give it a name. We're not doing organization stuff, so I'm just going to keep this as it is. And then we get to the same screen that we've seen previously when creating one. And last time we chose start from scratch. What we want to do is import archives instead of starting from scratch and our interface changes. So you notice that you get this simple field here on this, this form to put in a URL this, that is selected by default and is probably the most common way that people use the interface. And uh, you see it has an example here where you need to have a URL. Now you could just upload the file in the actual user interface rather than having a URL. If I select file, then I would do that whole thing where I choose the file and browse on my local machine and pick my, my tarball. Okay. So I could just do the file that way. Now for this particular archive, I could actually do that because the archive is, is very small. It's only 23 megs. So it's under hundred megs and it would be able to be uploaded, but many sites are not going to be under hundred megs. And so we're going to need to use the URL option. So the URL option is going to work through this interface here for anything that's up to 500 megabytes. So depending on the size of your archive, you may or, you know, that's going to affect which of these options you can even pick. And again, URL is the default. That's the most common method that people would end up using. Now, this is for uploading a single file site archive, like we created with Drush or Backup and Migrate, where all of the components are in one file. You can also provide the three separate archives. So if I click on this link underneath here, now I get the form with the three separated items. So I can do code, database, and files as three separate files. Again, notice it's defaulting to a URL. So if you want to just upload the file because you have small files, then you would change this so that you could browse for your file. But this is how you would do three. So whether you have one archive with everything, or you have three separate archives, you can do it either way in this interface. You just need to pick the right one. So I'm going to go back to single site archive because that's what we're going to be doing in this example. Now to use a URL, I need to have a URL. I need to have my site archive file somewhere on the internet. It can, you can put it up on your web server. It just needs to be like a publicly accessible URL. I'm going to use Dropbox just because it's handy, it's easy, and I'm going to use it. So I'm going to go look at my file finder on my computer so that I can figure out where my URL is in Dropbox. So this is my desktop, right? And this is the, the, the archives I've created. So I can't use that because this is actually on my local machine. But what I did is I copied this tar gz file into my Dropbox. So you can see that here. And now I can just grab the URL from this. So I'm going to share the Dropbox link and that's going to copy the URL that I need. And I'm going to go back to the Pantheon site. And with this, all I need to do is paste this in. And we have one very, very important step when we are using Dropbox for the URL. You'll notice at the end, there's this DL equals zero. I want to change that to DL equal one. Zero would take someone to the Dropbox page. DL equal one is actually going to deliver the file. And that's what Pantheon needs. It doesn't need a web page. It actually needs the file. So make sure you change that DL to one at the end there. And let's just import this. Ta-da! And now if I go click on my Pantheon dashboard, it's going to take me to my new site. And so you can see now I have a new dev sandbox set up for this new site that I just imported with that archive. And I can get going with my development 
you know, I have my, all of my connection information and I can just get started with my site. To recap what we did, uh, we looked at the Pantheon UI import options. So when you go to the Pantheon site, create a new site, import, you have a couple of different ways. You can use either the single file archive form, or if you click the link underneath, you can switch that to the three separate files form, whichever one works for you based on the archive files you have. And then we also talked about the difference between using a URL and using the upload form like directly in the UI. And that is based on file size limits. So you can only upload up to 100 megs, but you can use a URL up to 500 megabyte files. So after we looked at all of our UI options, we chose to do a single file archive using a URL. And I used Dropbox and went ahead and imported my site and I'm ready to go.